This is what my fish tank looks like. I haven't cleaned it in, I don't know, over a month, maybe two months. It looks like absolute dogish right now. By looking inside, you can see I have a cover of, I'm not sure if that's carpet algae, red algae, something. Need a sponge to clean the glass. I need some buckets. I need two buckets and I need a siphon to suck out all the old water. I need nuts for energy. For energy. I need a compost bin for the plants that I'm gonna take out. So I start out with cleaning the glass. I use the back, the scratchy part of the sponge. Let me kill two birds with one stone here and siphon out the water while I'm cleaning the glass. The thing that makes the tank look dirty is the algae on the glass. Once you clean the glass, actually, the tank will look fine. But I want to get rid of some of this, this algae that's been taking over the plants on the bottom. Do a quick bucket switch. I just switch the hose from one bucket to the other. Keep the siphon going. Pour it out. The thing with uh, soil, having soil in the tank is when you do toss up the bottom a little bit, you see the, it starts to mist up the water a lot. It's all the, the loose dirt. Soil in the tank means it takes a longer time for all the dirt to settle down and for the tank to actually start looking clean again. You can see a lot of the soil comes out with the water. Erosion. Here now I'm popping up some of the plants at the bottom. I'm uprooting them and taking the tops off, keeping the tops and throwing away most of the roots because that's where the new growth is. Here I'm going to go through the uh, tank with a net to try to get all the loose leaves that are floating around. You have to double check each time, make sure you haven't caught any fish. Here I'm replanting taking the tops and sticking them back into the soil. I'll plant some roots as well, and I'll leave some bottoms as well, but uh, for the most part, I'm trying to take the tops, put them back in. so that the, the water doesn't hit the dirt and cause more dirt to swirl around and muck up the water even more. Kind of diffuses the pressure of the water falling. But anyways, while I wait for the dirt to settle, I go out for a little ride to this water reservoir. I'm not sure what it's called. I tried to get down to the bottom, but I couldn't, couldn't find any roads. 
that went straight to the bottom. Well, while I was there, I met this guy, this gal. Nobody watching. How about I just steal this chicken? And there we are, spent a little bit of time there. Now it's time to head back, but I end up stopping at some fish stores. And whenever I stop at a fish store, I might end up picking up a few fish. Not these guys though. I ended up picking a few of these guys. Dinos, took in a little puppet show. Had no idea what was going on, so took off. Back to the house. The dirt settled after a few hours. And let me put my new friends in here. I leave them on top of the water for about an hour and that gives them time to acclimatize to the water temperature. There we go. Adding fish after a cleaning is not always the best idea because the chemistry of the water isn't necessarily that sweet for the new fish right after the water's been changed. But uh, 